Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to see how can you create a sentiment analysis script if you do not have a language model. So what we are going to do is we are going to fall back to the oldest methodology that we are going to use, which is uh, using a lexicon based model. So what is a lexi lexicon based method? So uh, what happens uh, is that you assign a value, either a positive or negative value for a given word. So let's look at the lexicon, how it looks. First of all, um, you can actually see that I've got a bunch of files, which I'm calling a Turkish uh, lexicon or dictionary. So there are multiple ways you can do this. Uh, there are multiple packages you can use for this particular purpose. So what we are doing is we are trying to identify using a particular package called tidy text from R. But you can do it in many different varieties of ways. Uh, so the first thing that we are trying to do is we are trying to have the word and then you have the tone and then you have the polarity. So in this case, we are going to be only concerned about word and polarity. But again, you can uh, write a script which also includes tone if you want to handle negation or uh, amplification, all those things. But in this case, we are going to be concerned about only word and polarity. So what is it saying? It is saying that for this particular word, let's say this word, this word means plus one. So let's see some other word. So this word means minus one. So it's a assigning values uh, either plus one or minus one. And if you have a neutral word, you can assign zero in that case. But in this in this data set that we are looking at, we have either plus one or minus one, which means it's uh, a given word is either flagged as positive or negative. So those are the two things that we have done here. So positive, negative for a given word, word and polarity. So given that this is the dictionary that we have put together, now we are going to learn how can we use this dictionary to uh, to do sentiment analysis for a language, you know, some indigenous language uh, or a language that is not usually popular where you have got language models and all these latest techniques. So in this case, we have picked up Turkish. Uh, I'm not saying a language model for Turkish is not available. So I'm just giving you an example using Turkish. So first of all, you have to load uh, tidyverse because we're going to do a bunch of join and filter. So tidyverse is just for that uh, data frame manipulation. And then we are going to use tidy text, which is what we are going to use in this current case to do tokenization and also to uh, combine the words. So first uh, you have to read the input text. So let me show you the input text. You can do read.csv and input text. So these are the text that we have got. The header is tweet text and then we have got a bunch of um, text sentences. So we can have a look at it, uh, how, how, how it looks. So you can ha actually see that uh, when you put this word, uh, it says uh, love this movie. So basically this is a positive sentence. And then the second one is basically I hate this movie. So a negative sentence. So you have an idea that this is a positive sentence. This is a negative sentence. So let's go back and then let's see. Um, let's see this uh, table that we have to read. So this is our lexicon. As you saw that we have a lexicon, which is uh, a, a semicolon uh, separated uh, file. So I'm just reading it as .csv. I'm saying header is true. So I'm using read.table. I'm not using read.csv. You can note that, uh, which is quite obvious if you're familiar with R. So I'm just saying that I'm reading a text file, uh, which has got a separator of um, uh, semicolon. And uh, once, once I'm done with that, uh, what I'm trying to do is just for the sake of uh, ease, I'm trying to rename these words. I'm uh, just renaming word and polarity to this word, small uh, upper lower case, small letter word and small letter value instead of calling it polarity. So you can see here word and polarity are there. So I'm just renaming it to word and value. And you may not have to do it, but just for the simplicity of going with the usual syntax that we have got, I'm just doing it. So it's a very long uh, expression. Uh, I can just break it down for you. So what, what it actually does is, uh, let me just quickly show you. So what we are trying to do is first of all, uh, in this line, we are just taking the data frame. And then what we are trying to do is we are trying to, uh, let me just print out sent and then you can actually see what is there. So when I run sent, you get all the uh, text that we have got one, two, three, four, five text. So what we are trying to do in this particular step is we're trying to assign row numbers to it. So you can see now we have got a line number, a column that says line number. So this is uh, 
essential for us to combine these uh, scores because as you see the scores are going to be assigned for each word but we have got a sentence so when we have to finally get the score for the sentence we have to group them by summarize them by the line or some value so we are going to basically use this line number as the value for us to use as a group by value to combine all these things so that's why this line number so the next thing is we are going to do token tokenization once again like i said it's not a model based tokenization it is just going to remove sentences based on space or um, any other symbol that we specify so it's not an advanced technique this uh, this is something that you can use if you do not have a deep learning uh, or a machine learning uh, model or deploying facility but you just have a small script or you want to you know do a quick turn around now you can see that uh, there is one line number that we have defined which is uh, this column and then it is also showing that how the uh, tokenization has happened so the first sentence has been separated into four words the second sentence you can see how many times and then the third sentence you can see so that is done and um, the next step is we are going to do an inner join so whatever we have created here we are going to do an inner join with that so that only the sentences uh, okay the other thing is i'm not doing any data text pre processing here i'm not removing stop words or anything as that is out of the scope of this particular tutorial where i'm just focusing to explain you how you can use your custom lexicon or dictionary to do uh, or uh, build a sentiment analysis script so for that matter we are doing uh, an inner join so let me just add comments uh, line number for later grouping for later grouping sentence grouping okay and uh, this one is our tokenization which means sentence to word words precisely and then inner join with our lexicon to get the polarity score so in this step we are actually getting the polarity score so let's just run this this particular part and then we'll see so it will show you for the words that it has it's getting the polarity score so one word is positive another word is negative and a bunch of words are positive so whatever words that are present in our dictionary and out of that whatever words that are present in the sentences that we have given it to the code so it is giving us the value of it so now what we have to do we as we discussed before we have to group it by the line number and then we have to summarize it so again uh, when you want to summarize it there are multiple different approaches people sometimes try to amplify with a multiplier people sometimes try to do an average some people try to do uh, a sum so you you can do anything that you would like to do based on your approach and um, uh, and the kind of use case that you are trying to solve so in this case i'm just doing sum so you can see the first sentence says it's positive second sentence says it's negative and then the third sentence says it's positive fourth sentence says it's slightly more positive than you know the other sentences uh so the next thing is you have got the line number but you know ideally you, what you want is you want the sentence and uh, you want the output sentiment so simply to just get that again you have lot of different ways so what i'm going to simply do is i'm going to take this line number as my key and then i'm going to do a left join on our original input data set and then uh, i'm just taking the value so that takes us to the final uh, end so let me just add value uh, group by for sentence sentiment polarity final sentence polarity from words and uh, finally in this what we are trying to do is we are trying to get the uh, line actual text next to the sentiment value okay cool so once you run this uh, you have uh, okay you have more so let me just view it for you so you can see that you have line number you have sentiment you have sentiment text uh, finally what you have to do is you have to just um, run it uh, or save as csv so you can either assign it to something or you can just say write dot csv and then say okay um, sentiment output dot csv and uh, row numbers equal row names equal to false if you are using okay that's that's me doing python and then r so that so now it's done you can see sentiment output view the file 
uh, you have got line number you have got sentiment you've got sentiment text so you got the output so now it's probably time for us to take the help of google and then see so the second sentence as we saw before uh, it is a negative sentence so you can see that uh, i hate this movie so let's see this thing um, what does it say it says good things will happen so it's a positive sentence so that's why i've got positive value so our script is working fine uh, so we can be happy about it so it's a very simple script uh, it didn't even take uh, uh, 30 lines of the code so the idea is you have your custom dictionary or lexicon and you want to build your own sentiment analysis uh, script uh, it doesn't use any language model uh, the same way it doesn't use any language model it's not going to be highly accurate also but at the same time you know this is the usual trade off that you have got between a rule based method and a machine learning based method it's easy to do uh, quick to uh, get something out but it is not going to be highly accurate so now this script is ready so now you can customize your uh, input script and uh, lexicon so that uh, your uh, output number in, uh, improves so a couple of things that you have to keep a note of so one thing is when you are dealing with uh, certain languages that are not like english let's say something like arabic or something like uh, a european language you need to set your system local uh, in the particular uh, language uh, local so that uh, the the characters are read properly so that you don't have any problem with uh, dealing with the characters you don't want to you know uh, be in a world where you are thinking that everything is positive or everything is ne negative but at the end of the day it's not the lexicon but it is actually when your r is trying to read that as an input uh, data frame it is uh, messing it up so you want to actually always validate that so whenever you read that go see if the characters are read properly and you don't have uh, any messy characters there uh, that is one thing and the next thing is it's always very important for you to check the output so that um, you can say okay maybe my sum is not working out maybe i should probably do average so you can play with that rather than you know just simply uh, uh, producing your output that is the second thing and the third thing is every text um, analytics project or every sentiment analysis project would require you to do a bunch of pre-processing step maybe you want to remove your um, uh, punctuation marks maybe you want to remove extra symbols or maybe you want to remove stop words but depending upon your use case you want to either keep it or remove it but whatever you do make uh, make your assumptions very clearly whenever you are working on a project so that someone who wants to replicate this project would be able to do it i'll share this code uh, um, uh, on uh, the github uh, repo and i'll link it uh, just below the like button if you enjoyed this video please like this video give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have any other comments please let me know in the comment section and until next video stay safe see you take care bye